Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this hot air balloon. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to any color you like. First press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a circle. Then switch to the Direct Selection tool, select the anchor point on the bottom and drag it down. Now either press the Shift and C keys on your keyboard to switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool or select the Convert Selected Anchor Point to Corner icon from the Tab toolbar and click on this anchor point to create a sharp corner. Next, we'll create a flat edge. First, draw a small rectangle. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder and choose minus front. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points and move them up a little. Next, we'll create a copy. Press the Ctrl and C keys on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. Let's change the fill of this new shape to a different color and reshape it. Now we will create additional shapes and space them equally. First select everything, then go to Object, Blend, Blend Options. Change the spacing to specified steps and set it to 3. Go to Object again, Blend and choose Make or press the Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard. Before we can work with individual shapes, first we need to expand them. Go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Go to Object one more time and choose Expand. Finally, right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. Now you can select individual shapes. Select the shape at the bottom and let's create a copy. Change its fill to None, the stroke to Black, then move it to the top and lock it. Select all the other shapes and drag the top of the bounding box up. Now unlock the top layer with the black stroke, select everything and go to the Shape Builder tool. Choose a different color and then click, hold and drag to create the first shape. Skip one and click on the third one to create another green shape and so on. Now select a different color and click on every other space to create a new shape. Let's delete everything at the top. Select everything and set the stroke to none. Next we'll create the middle part. First change the fill to black and draw a rectangle that is the width of the bottom edge. Let's check if everything is aligned. Before we do anything, first go to View and deselect the Snap to Pixel option. Let's zoom in on this edge. Now press the Ctrl and Y keys on your keyboard to switch to the Outline mode. Using the Direct Selection tool, select the two anchor points on the right side of this rectangle and move it to align with the top shape and do the same with the other edge. Let's create a copy of this shape and move it down. Create one more copy, apply a different color and make it longer. Now select both bottom shapes and adjust the width. Select the top black shape, then press the letter E to open the Freeform Transform tool and choose Perspective Distort. Now click on the bottom anchor point and move it to the left just a tiny bit. Next we'll create these four cables. 
First switch to the rectangle tool and draw a long and narrow rectangle starting at this anchor point. Let's zoom in, switch to the direct selection tool and select the two anchor points at the bottom. Now move them to align with the left edge of the bottom rectangle. Create another copy, then select both shapes, switch to the reflect tool and click somewhere in the middle. While you are holding down the shift key, drag your mouse to create a copy. Now align it with the bottom rectangle. Finally, select the bottom shape, create a copy, select the bottom green rectangle and change its fill to black. Now select the top green rectangle and if you like, apply a pattern swatch. If you would like to learn how to create this weave pattern, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. If you wish, you can add a black stroke and make sure it is aligned to the inside. Next, switch to the direct selection tool, select the two bottom anchor points and round the corners. In the next several steps, we will create these sandbags. First, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to this light brown color. Now switch to the ellipse tool and draw a small circle. Press the Shift and C keys on your keyboard to switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool and click on the top anchor point to create a sharp corner. Next, using the Direct Selection tool, select these two anchor points and move them down a little. Now select the Polygon tool, click on the artboard to hold and drag your mouse out. While you are still holding your mouse, press the down arrow key on your keyboard to reduce the number of sides to 3. While you are still holding your mouse, press and hold down the Shift key until the bottom is horizontal. Now rotate it by 180 degrees and bring it down. Make sure both parts are aligned, select both, then go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Next draw a rectangle to cover half of this shape, select both shapes and using the Shape Builder tool delete the unwanted part. Now choose a darker brown and apply it to the right side to create a shadow. Select both shapes and group them together. Let's move it over here and scale it down a bit. Now create a copy, select both shapes and double click on the Blend tool. This time set the specified steps to 2 and click OK and press the Ctrl, Alt and B keys on your keyboard to create a blend. Finally, we will add this rope. First open the Layers panel, lock the Blend layer, swap the fill and the stroke and select the Pen tool or the Curvature tool, whichever one you prefer. And draw a curvy line between the sandbags. Switch to the Selection tool, select the line and bring this layer below the Blend layer. If you wish, select all the stripes, choose the Free Transform tool, select the Perspective Distort and adjust the shape. Finally, select everything, group it together and align it to the artboard. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.